Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Ali Fati and I am from Faculty of Civil Engineering at M. Shala. I'm going to present on my research topic, which is production of bricks from slash of palm oil mill F2M. Palm oil mills in Malaysia process 17.32 million tons of crude palm oil in 2016. This is a very huge amount compared to just 92,000 tons of crude palm oil processed in 1960. The higher the amount of crude palm oil, the higher the amount of pome. Over the last 20 years, numerous studies have documented the use of various waste and sludge to produce bricks such as fly ash, coal, sugarcane husk, and also organic waste. This research comes from the problem of the increasing of palm oil produce in Malaysia every year. As the number of palm oil increase, the amount of pome is also increased. If pome is not being treated or handled well, it can become a major environmental issue. The solution to this problem is to use sludge pome as a partial replacement in rich production. The objective of this study was to produce rich from pome that are treated by using electroconvolution process. Next is to calculate the compressive strength, water absorption, and bulk density of the bricks by following the JKR standard. Slide here shows the pome brick production process. First, pome were collected from mills to be treated by using electroconvolution process. Then, the electroconvolution process were done with three different concentrations of pome, which are 60%, 90%, and 100%. Next, the sludge produced from the electroconvolution process were collected. And lastly, the pome sludge were mixed with sand, cement, and aggregate to produce brick. For the brick's commercial potential, the bricks can be sold either for only one pieces or by one, by one pellet, which is equal to 512 pieces. According to current brick prices in Malaysia, one pellet of bricks can be sold for 180 ringgit. Next slide here shows the electroconversion process that have been done in the laboratory. The process was done for 120 minutes. After 120 minutes, the sludge produce was collected. Here are the materials used to produce bricks, which consists of water, sand, cement, pome sludge, and also aggregate. The bricks were then been analyzed its compressive strength, water absorption, and bulk density. Slide here shows the example of compressive strength tests that have been done. Graph here shows the compressive strength value of the bricks produced. As can be seen, all the value comply with the JKR standard, which is 5 Newton per millimeter square. Next, here is the water absorption versus time graph. And here is the bulk density versus time graph. So, the conclusion from this research, the performance of all bricks produced comply with the JKR standard. The highest value compressive for compressive strength, water absorption, and bulk density are 18.3 Newton per millimeter square, 6.49%, and 2318.44 kg per meter cube, respectively. And brick series B is the best to produce large bricks. Next, uh, here is the intellectual property for this research. And this research was supported by the grant from Ministry of Higher Education and also UITM Shah Alam. And this research also was done with collaboration with Honeycomb Engineering. That's all from me. Thank you.